Dallas ISD approved a $2 billion budget that would include a pay boost for some of its employees. Teachers had hoped that during the legislative session, some of the state surplus would go to educators, but that did not happen. Fox 4's Stephen Dial joins us with more. Stephen. Dallas ISD Superintendent Stephanie Elizalde has been critical of state lawmakers for not committing funding to teacher pay. And she says while the school board locally just did it, it's not enough. What's your frustration level with lawmakers in Austin? Oh, my frustration is absolutely a 10. My profession, however, requires me to also make sure that while I can feel frustrated, um, I can't get emotionally compromised in the role in which I serve as a superintendent. During the legislative session, both Republican and Democrat lawmakers said part of the record budget surplus would be spent on giving Texas teachers raises, but that didn't happen. It's something the Dallas ISD superintendent Stephanie Alizade and other educators have been vocal about. I have teachers whose rent went up, whose um, interest rate on their home mortgage if they were buying any time recently was much higher than it had been. School vouchers consumed the education debate in Austin and still there's been no progress on raises or vouchers. Last week the Dallas ISD Board of Trustees approved multiple pay increases. On average teachers will see a 3% raise. With our teachers and our principals those are on a pay for performance so it'll be a percentage of where their pay scales are but roughly about a 3.3 three percent increase for our teachers. Some will be a little above that, some will be a little below that. There will also be retention incentives of $1,000 for district employees. The district's minimum wage will go up from 15 to $16 an hour. Support staff will also get raises. Our food service employees, our custodians, our transportation employees, as we all know, those hourly employees also tend to be um, at the bottom of pay scales. Those individuals are getting an average of 6% increases. Elizalde says Dallas ISD will be operating from a budget deficit, using money that's been set aside to fund the raises. With inflation impacting everyone, she hopes lawmakers in Austin will pass something this summer to support teachers. Even if I give a 5%, a 3% increase, it's actually still a decrease when you think about costs that have been escalating. Elizalde also wanted it to be known that no chiefs or deputy superintendents got any pay raises in this budget increase. Now, Governor Abbott has said that he's going to call multiple special sessions to get top priorities done. That includes education right now. We don't know when that will happen because lawmakers are still fighting over tax relief.